Decryptos. I hope everyone's doing well. We got Oliver Anthony, everyone. You got to see this. This is his follow-up video, by the way, after all the success he's had. You know, it's interesting. Within the past little while, I'm hearing some rumors that people think this guy's in his replant. Guys, as always, I'm going to sit on the fence, and I want you guys to leave in the comment section what you all think, who this gentleman is. He seems genuine to me. Again, seems. Now, I have not watched this video. I'm going to watch it with all of you together. So, let's start the video. And let's get some uh, feedback going. All right, here we go, guys. Well, hey there. It's August 25th, 2023. A lot's changed since the last time I sat here and spoke to you. Exactly. Um, my friends and family have asked me how I'm doing. Everybody is wondering if, I'm, uh, if I've lost my sanity yet. And I'm surprisingly calm and at peace. I've... Good for him. I don't even know what to say, but I I feel thankful to be given this opportunity. Um, A blessing you know, from the music God. Music side is exciting, and all the Billboard, iTunes charts, and all that crap. That's great. But uh, what's the exciting part has been the conversations I've had with people, and the things I've learned just in a couple weeks about um, about the human spirit. And, um, and and about all sorts of other things, the music industry and hmm. and how how dirty everything is. <laughs> like it's, it's worse than you think. So I don't know what the future looks like for me. I'm not really too concerned about the future. I'm living in the present, and I'm good man. I just have to have. I just have to have the discernment to make the right decisions from here on out because um, I think about that guy who was sitting here a few weeks ago talking to you and uh, the most important thing and the most important thing to me is not leaving him behind. Well said, well said. Very well said. I don't want to go on some roller coaster ride and come off a different person. The rain started now, eh? Uh, if there is anything for me to address at all with you, it's that uh, you know, it's the one thing that has bothered me is seeing people wrap politics up into this. Interesting. Uh, I'm disappointed to see like, it's aggravating seeing people on conservative news try to identify with me like I'm one of them. Hmm. It's aggravating seeing certain musicians and politicians act like we're buddies and and act like we're fighting the same struggle, you know, <laughs> like that we're trying to present the same message. Interesting. Uh, you know, I've, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and I've tried to be polite to everybody. And um, I've talked to hundreds of people the last two weeks. But it seems wow. like certain people want to just ride the attention of this song to maybe Facts. make them, their own selves relevant. And that's aggravating as hell. The other thing that I find aggravating is, uh, well, you know, like, it was funny seeing my song in the, it was fun, it was funny seeing it at the presidential debate. Because <laughs> it's like, I wrote that song about those people, you know? <laughs> so for them to have to sit there and listen to that, uh, that cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it was funny kind of seeing the response to it. Like, that song has nothing to do with Joe Biden, you know? It's a lot bigger than Joe Biden. Um, Interesting. You know, my thought process so far, we're about a little bit quarter plus into this uh, this feedback video that he's given. And also, he stated when he, when, uh, he said the date when he shared his video, everyone. So, you know, he mentioned one party didn't mention the other parties. He mentioned Republicans. He didn't mention Democrats. And just to be raw again, guys, I'm not left or right. I don't care. I'm central. Okay? I just want to make sure whoever's in power is doing the proper job and not being a corrupt you-know-what. So, let's keep on watching here. 
that song is written about the people on the on that stage and a lot more too, not just them, but, but okay. definitely them. Okay. There we go. It's cool seeing some of my other music come out because people are, I guess, starting to appreciate and understand what it is I'm really trying to say. It's hard to get a message out about about your political ideology or your belief about the world in three minutes and some change. <laughs> um, Facts. But I hate, I do hate to see that song being weaponized. Like I see, I see the right trying to characterize me as one of their own, okay. and I see the left trying to um, trying to All discredit right. me. I guess in retaliation. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. That shit's got to stop. So there we go. Again, I just want to remind you guys, people are calling this guy a plant, okay? And guys, I have no clue. I don't know this guy from Adam. I shared a song about a week ago. I love this song. Literally touches on some certain items that are, are being addressed in today's society. But again, look at his verbiage. Look at the words in his song. We have to use our, again, our common sense given to us by our almighty God to think of things, to make sure we're intellectually identifying with by our own means, by our own spirit, what is in front of us. The eyes deceive you, okay? So, of old course, always talk to God to figure out what's going on here. Let's continue, guys. If you watch the response videos on YouTube to the song, it's not conservative people responding to the song. It's not even necessarily Americans responding to the song. Mm. Um, I don't know that I've seen anything get such positive response from such a diverse group of people. Mm -hmm. And I think that terrifies the people that I sing about in that song. And they've done everything they can the last two weeks to make me look like a fool. <laughs> to spin my words. Interesting. To try to stick me in a political bucket. Interesting. And they can keep trying. <laughs> but I'm just going to keep on writing. And I've Good got for a lot him. of words to put down on paper. And I've got... You know, guys, imagine going from a nobody, literally a nobody, to a somebody in, in literally a month, okay? So this guy's life is totally changed in its entire capacity. Just, just, just try to be in that seat he's in right now, just trying to share a message. And, and by the way, by the, by, I give us another quarter, three months, and this, this this video will have millions upon millions of views that he shared from uh, from his own page. And by the way, I'll put it in the description. Let's keep on watching. I've got a lot of songs to put the chords and. Um... I don't know what my music career is going to look like. I don't know how many shows I'm going to do and how many tours I'm going to put on. But good for him. I am going to stay true to my word. I'm I'm going to write. I'm going to write, produce, and distribute authentic music that represents people okay. and not politics. All right, all right. You guys hear I his do words. I feel compelled to address something. Um, since I have addressed the conservatives. I do need to address the left as well. Wow, because here we go. Because they're sending a message out that, that that initial song that sort of shot me up the radar, Richmond, North of Richmond, is... So guys, I'm going to pause it again here. Remember, I, this is my first time watching this video. I'm watching it right alongside you guys, if you guys haven't watched this video already. All right. ...is an attack against the poor. If you listen to my other music, it's obvious that all of my songs that reference class defend the poor. Uh, Dog On, it's a good example of that. Needles in the street, folks hardly surviving on sidewalks next to highways full of cars self-driving. The poor keep hurting and the rich keep thriving. Mm. It's like, wow. that's what I like to sing about. And, you know, the English language is interpretive, and so I do understand, like, there may be some people who who misunderstood my words in Richmond, North of Richmond. But I've got to be clear that my message, like with any of my songs, it references the inefficiencies of the government. Facts. Huge. Because of the politicians within it that are engulfed in bribes and extortion. And, Facts. You know, the words say that there's people on the street with nothing to eat in the obese milk and welfare. That references a news article I read earlier this summer that adolescent kids in Richmond are missing meals over the summer because their parents can't afford to feed them and they're not in school to eat cafeteria lunch. Mm. 
And meanwhile, I think like 30 or 40% of the food bought with welfare or EBT money is, um, is in a classification of like snack food and soda. I think 10% spent on soda, and I want to say like 20 or 30% spent on junk food. He's right. He's and right. That's not the fault of those people. Facts. Uh, welfare only makes up a, a small percentage of our budget. You know, we can we can fuel a proxy war in a foreign land, but we can't take care of our own. Mm. That's all the song's trying to say. Well said. It's just saying that. You know, let me touch on that there, guys, because, you know, it's so interesting he's he's mentioning that right now. You know, and when you start to understand, again, from a, a higher perspective, that this is a spiritual war. This is not a war about flesh and blood. It's a spiritual war. Scripture is very clear about this, by the way. And you keep you, you keep people poor. You keep them, you know, you know, getting their money. They're satisfied. OK, I'm going to talk about the slums and the ghettos, by the way, I'm going to talk about right now. You know, you're in a, um, a hamster wheel and you're getting what you want. You're getting something to quench your thirst, feed you. But that food is very low vibration, very low by vibration. How do you vibrate higher if you're consuming processed garbage? All right. And that's what that money gets you, processed garbage. You can't elevate to a higher consciousness if you're eating something that's not alive, it's dead already. I just want to throw that in the table. Let's keep on watching. The government takes people who are needy dependent and makes them needy independent. Boom. There we go. There we go, my friend Oliver. Wow. And at some point, I will dissect all my lyrics of all my songs, if that's what I need to do. I mean, 30-some million people understood what I was saying. Wow. And it only takes a few to try to uh, derail the train. Exactly. To try to send out false narratives. Well said. Well said. And I'm sure there'll be more of that to come. It's oh, like, yeah. uh, it's driving people crazy to see the unity that's come from this, from all walks. Boom. This isn't a Republican and Democrat thing. This isn't even a, a, a United States thing. Like, well this has said. been a global response. And don't Facts. let anybody tell you otherwise. Go on YouTube and watch all the response videos, you know? Good for him. And don't Good shoot the him. messenger. Like, I'm a nobody. Humble. Wow. It's my Humble. belief that divine intervention has put me in this position in this point in time to get a message across, and that's all there is to it. Like, I so this man, by the way, he came to Christ. You can check out my shorts. Okay, um, he was uh, Joe Rogan would just talk about him. He came to Christ. He was on substance abuse, and upon coming to Christ, he said, "If he blows up, he'll work for the Lord." So, yeah, guys, my first time watching this video. This is kind of shocking me. His uh, his feedback here. So, just FYI, let's. Uh, yeah, just everything he's saying, just check mark. That's it. He, he reminds me of myself here. I don't care about left or right. I just want things done right. And I'm happy this song provided unity to everybody that needed it. Because, guys, uh, a house divided does not prosper. We're fighting each other. We're left. We're right. Doesn't matter. Where are we helping each other? Imagine we all got together and just worked together the power we'd have be heaven on earth all right let's keep on watching i'm nobody special you know I, I i feel terrible almost that i've been put in this place because there there are a lot of artists and musicians out there that are far more talented that have put in way more hours than me like i don't deserve I, I don't deserve to sit in the top five places on the itunes charts and the truth is i really could give a shit less about the itunes charts what um, i care oh. about is connecting with people what i care about is Wow. Interesting. I don't I don't know what this country is going to look like in 10 or 20 years if things don't change. Exactly. I don't know what this world's going to look like. And like something has to be done about it, you know? There's been too many people die. Exactly. There's been too many people sacrifice everything they've had. People die before they even before they're even 18, you know? Correct, correct. Just for us to all sit here and just do the stupid shit it is that we do every day that keeps us all all beat down and divided. Like, Wow. That's what I want to see stop. Well said. Well said, Oliver. And I'm going to do everything I can to influence that. God bless at you. At all costs. Even if it does... Um, 
even if it does throw my world upside down, it's what it's well worth it. But for now, I'm hanging in there and I'm I'm doing what I can, and and I I really appreciate everybody who's along for the ride. So uh, there's a lot more to come, and I'm excited for it. And I, I'll see you on the next one. Wow, 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 guys. Yeah, I'm kind of a little, little blown away. Uh, I'll be raw with you there. Um, I was not at, uh, expecting that in any capacity. So, you know, you're hearing, the, I'm hearing drips and drabs from people. Oh, he's a righty. Oh, he's a lefty. Oh, again, you see where people's minds go. You start to look at what your opinions are and not what is beneficial for all. Again, guys, imagine we just followed what it said in Scripture, the amount of love, compassion, the the unity that would occur in the world. And he's absolutely right. We need to look at what the powers that be are doing. They're absolutely out of control. And who who's going to fix this? People that care and are loving. All right, guys. Want you to check out that video, Anthony Oliver in the mix here. God bless that man. And again, he came to the Lord recently. Christ, you're you're a different you're a different one. We love you. All right, guys. God bless as always. You haven't given yourself to Christ. You have a choice. God's a gentleman. Up to you. But God's a gentleman. Make that choice. All right, guys. God bless you. Decryptos out. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.